Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video sponsored by FanDuel. Today we are opening up the pen box. It is the April edition of this product. This is, it's $84.99 per box plus about $5 shipping. So all together you're looking at about a $90 box here. And inside of this box there are going to be eight hobby packs and one touch and also one pen pack as well, along with a raffle ticket. So we're going to open this up. Hopefully we can find something good. Hope everybody's had a very good Friday today, and I hope you are enjoying your Easter weekend out there. Over here we had some good times today. We went bowling, colored Easter eggs, painted Easter bunnies, and I hope you are enjoying your time as well this weekend. So here's what we've got. I'm going to first, we'll pull the packs out. There's some coupons in here, which is nice. Those definitely come in handy. All right, so the first pack is a really good one right here. This is a 2018 Bowman Hobby Pack. We'll be looking for Luis Robert, first Bowman in this one. That is a great one right there. I also highly approve of this pack. It is a Hobby Pack of 2019 Heritage High Number. A lot of great rookies in this set. Headlined by Fernando Tatis Jr. along with Aloy Jimenez, Pete Alonso, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Lots of great rookies to find in there. And everybody loves Bowman, so here's a Bowman pack. It's a 2020 hobby pack of Bowman. So I would say right now we've got three good packs to start off here. Next up, we've got another good one right here. It's a hobby pack of Topps Chrome from 2020. And I'll tell you what, it seems like Topps Chrome just keeps increasing in value uh, from month to month. The hobby boxes, I'm glad that I have a couple hobby boxes sealed still on my shelves because they just keep going up and up. And then we have a hobby pack of, or a jumbo, I should say, of 2021 Series 1. A very nice pack right there as well. So we've got those five. And then additionally, we have, and uh, the owner of the pen box told me about this. This month, he's having an Aaron Judge chase where he's inserting random 2017 pack so he sent us it looks like three of them here everybody's guaranteed he said between one and three of these packs in their boxes so we've got a 2017 update pack looking for the judge rookie card a 2017 optic pack with mickey mantle on the front mantle used to be owned by panini at least his rights did uh he's no longer with panini luckily i think that's a good thing because i think mantle did belongs at tops and then we have a 2017 chrome and these all appear to be hobby packs so uh really good stuff here i think you can i think anybody would say that for 90 bucks this is a great selection of packs so let's take a look at the literature here it says thanks for purchasing the pen box it says this month you're chasing aaron judge's rookie cards like i said you're going to get between one and three of those 2017 packs. He's got all of the hobby packs. Says each box will have one of the 2017 packs, at least one of them. Some will have two or even three. These are the packs that he's choosing from this month. You can see them all there. We got most of those packs. It looks like we need to get a Bowman Heritage in our um, pack this month or a 2020 Optic, but that's okay. Here's all the stuff, uh, the hit odds on the back. All right, so. Let's check out our monthly giveaway, and then we'll start ripping this stuff open. It says the monthly giveaway is uh, a Leaf Baseball Draft complete set there from 2020. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Lots of great packs. Usually, I start off with the pack that I'm least excited about, and it's usually an obvious choice, something that, you know, it's like, Alan Ginter or like an older Bowman draft or an opening day pack or something like that. But I don't even know where to start now. Um, I guess we'll start off with, um, I guess we'll start off with Heritage High Number and see what we can find. Hoping for a Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card out of this. If we do get some good cards today, we will give those away. Uh, in our next giveaway, which is slated whenever we hit 90,000 subscribers. So thank you, everybody, that has subscribed. I hope if you haven't already hit that subscribe button that you will please do so. We'd love to have you along for our videos as we do one every single day. So unfortunately, no good rookie cards really in that pack. We'll go ahead and we've got some Bowman coming up. Let's do these Bowman packs. Here's a 2020 Bowman. We'll be looking for 
some of the big guys in here. Jason Dominguez would be a nice one. We've got Seth Brown. Shane Bieber had 12 strikeouts the other day in opening day. Brandon McKay, rookie card. We've got Brian Mata, Taylor Trammell, Adam Hall, Bowman Chrome. There's a Seth Beer, Bowman Chrome, Javi Baez, and Brian Reynolds. So, so far, still no top rookies or hits or anything like that. But we do have a good shot at a hit. They're all hobby packs. If we don't get a hit, I hope we hit a judge rookie. Let's go ahead and check out now the 2018 Bowman pack and see if we can hit the first Luis Robert card. Paul DeYoung, there's a Garrett Cooper rookie card. Jen Ho Sang, we've got a Jake Berger blue out of 150. I wish that was Luis Robert. Wouldn't that have been something? CJ Chatham, Christian Pache first Bowman, and it's a chrome. Very nice. A first Bowman chrome of one of the top rookies in the 2021 class. Christian Pache, That's that might be the card of the box. I don't think I had that one in my personal collection. Scott Carey just got sent down, and JoJo Romero is the last one. A beautiful-looking Christian Pache right there. Love that one. Let's go ahead and do our hobby pack right now. Usually I save the uh, or the jumbo pack. Usually I save the jumbos for last because they have the best chance it hit like an autograph or a relic. But I don't know. I'm just I'm super excited about the 2017 packs and I feel like I want to save those for last. So let's see what we've got. I can tell you that we're not going to have a relic or a manufactured relic. So we've got about a 1 in 8 chance of an autograph right now. There's um that's there's ten packs per box. So two of those packs are gonna have a relic or the manufacturer. So one in eight chance, about a sixteen percent chance, I think, of getting the autograph. Let's see if we can find it. I hope that we can. If we can't find it, maybe we'll get some nice rookie cards in here. There's Evan White. We've got Luis Garcia rookie card, Carter Keyboom, Evan Longoria, Miles Michaelis, and here comes the middle of the pack where the good stuff is. Jay Hay, Sonny Gray, 86, and then, wow, that's, I don't even think that should count as really anything. It's the, through the years, so unfortunately not a very good pack. Max Muncy's in my FanDuel starting lineup tonight. We'll see how I do with that. By the way, my opening day lineup was a winner. I ended up winning 7 bucks on opening day, carried by Shane Bieber's 12 strikeouts. Really helped me out a lot. There's Ruggi Odor. He just got released a few days before opening day. Blake Snell's pitching tonight. Marcus Semyon, Larry Tavares, and Mike Miner. So unfortunately, not a very good pack right there, but as you know, that's the way you know packs in general go. Sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you don't. So now we've got four packs left. Pretty excited about these, these three especially, but I like Tops Chrome a lot so much that I decided to save it for the very last of the regular packs, quote unquote regular. There's nice Blake Snell again. Luis Robert rookie card. How about that one right there? So a Luis Robert Tops Chrome rookie card out of our pen box. That is the top card to look for. Luis Robert. He was one for four on opening day with a double. I'll be watching his stats very, very closely. He batted seventh in the lineup yesterday and I'm, I'm telling you what i am a big fan of Luis robert some people consider him a bust because he had a bad september last year which equates to a bad half of the year since he only basically played two months i'm not giving up on him i love his rookie cards and uh i collect his cards so i'm gonna put that one in my pc for sure we've got three 2017 packs right now we're gonna see what we can find here the chase card here is gonna be the aaron judge Let's go ahead and start off with the 2017 Tops Update Pack and hope we can find the judge. Let's see. So, we've got Jan Camargo, rookie card, leading things off. Danny Ortiz, so a couple common rookies. There's Doug Fister, Nelson Cruz, all-star game card. Paul Goldschmidt, all-star game card. Birds in the Garden, Tops just loves these weird cards. And Jordan Montgomery, rookie card. There's Brad Hand. Nolan Arenado and Amir Garrett, rookie debut card. So, unfortunately, there's a Jose Guillen. It's a buyback card. Rediscover Tops. All right, we'll take that one. What, 2006 Tops card right there, Jose Guillen. They've got the stamped, and it's stamped in gold. I can't remember if gold is the most rare of the buybacks. They have three different foils. There's bronze, silver, and gold. And I think gold may just be the rarest of the rare buybacks. I don't know if that really does too much for the value. Uh, but not a nice Jose Guillen. 
Rediscover Tops gold stamped card. So no judge there. Let's go ahead now and do the chrome. I'm saving the optic pack for last because, quite honestly, I don't think I've ever opened a box of those. I started doing baseball cards on my channel in 2017, and I did I did like tops, and but I never did optics. So I'm pretty excited about that pack right there. When that pack came out of the box, I just I didn't recognize the uh, the cover art at all. So here we go, 2017 chrome. We've got Adam Jones. We've got a Brandon Drury refractor. There's Brandon Belt. And the last card there is King Felix Hernandez. So we're down to our last pack. Will we find an autograph? I hope so. Let's see if we can do it. All those hobby packs and not a single auto. That sometimes happens. But the good news is we got two really, really nice rookie hits. There. The Christian Pache first Bowman Chrome from 2018 and the Topps Chrome. Luis Robert, pretty darn nice. All right, let's see what we've got. Will we have an autograph? There's only four cards per pack. We've got Trey Turner, Prism Refractor. There's a Don Mattingly, Chris Sale, Orange. And that Chris Sale, by the way, is numbered out of 199. And Diamond Kings, Freddie Freeman. So no autograph today, but the pen box has us covered because, you know, that... I don't want to say that always happens with uh, subscription boxes, but it definitely happens from time to time where you'll, you know, get a subscription box and not get an autograph in any of your packs. It's just the way it goes. So they always put a pen pack in there to give you a couple extra hits. The one touch is a really nice touch. I love these. I always put them to use whenever we pull a multi hundred dollar card in our break. So I'll put that aside. And we've got the, oh, it looks like we've got a bonus one. Very nice. So we've got a the regular pen pack with four cards. There's gonna be two hits in there. And uh, he does describe his hits as these. It's an autograph, a game-used vintage card, a low-numbered refractor short print variant or parallel, or any Mike Trout card could be considered a hit, and two rookie cards as well. And the bonus card right here is a thank you. You wouldn't get this in your pen box. Um, that's just a little extra bonus there. So, Dave, thank you very much for tossing that in there. Let's see what we've got now in our pen pack. Here's the hits. We have ourselves a Cal Ripken Jr. Manufactured Relic from 2021 Tops from a Blaster Box and an autograph of Miles Gordon from Elite Extra Edition. And then the rookie cards. I see a couple nice ones right there. Joe Adele and Casey Mize. The Casey Mize is a 52 redo set refractor and a Joe Adele 52 as well. Very nice stuff right there. I'm a big fan of both of these guys. I think they're going to be good. Let's check out the bonus right now before we get on out of here. We have ourselves another Joe Adele. So there's a Joe Adele. From, that's from uh, Topps Updated, number one prospect card. A second Joe Adele. Make sure we give one, we give one of those away. And we have a Topps Chrome 2020 Pink Refractor Pack right there. Very nice stuff. We'll bust that open right now. How about this one? A beautiful Nolan Ryan 1974 Tops card. Honestly, that's my favorite card of the box. Check out the back. It's in really good shape. A 74 Nolan Ryan. Now, obviously, that's that's a bonus card, um, you know, for helping the pen box out. That's an awesome one right there. And Mauricio Dubon, rookie auto. So let's check out this Chrome bonus pack and see if we can, you know, maybe hit a nice name and there is a nice name right there a ronald acuna jr pink prism refractor along with yadier molina future hall of famer so two pretty darn good cards out of the pink pack my favorite card was the nolan ryan right there the 74 in great great shape so thank you very much for the pen box if you'd like to pick up a pen box for yourself you can go to their website it's thepenbox.com and request a box again it's about a 90 dollars box after shipping and uh, I really appreciate all of you guys for watching. Again, if you haven't checked out FanDuel yet, uh, we are sponsored this month by FanDuel. I hope that you will go down in the description to this video and use the link there, fanduel.com backslash jabs family, and use that link to sign up, put a couple bucks in your account, and uh, try a game or two. It's really fun stuff. Heather and I have been playing every day. And uh, if you use that link, I get credit for the sign up. So then maybe they will uh, re up with me, maybe for the month of uh, May. So that's it for today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Easter, like I said before. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.